and interventional radiology has morphed into uh, more like image-guided surgery. Uh, the biggest, uh, hottest topic in our field now is actually treatment of various tumors. So instead of patients going in for these large incisions for surgery, giant resections, um, if you are a candidate for interventional radiology treatment, what we can do is either burn these tumors or um, go in through the artery into the vessel feeding the tumor and block off the, uh, the vessel feeding the tumor. So that's where the uh, field is at right now. The primary problem with treating any pediatric disease is everything is just smaller. You know, kids are tiny, this, this, this large, so their vessels are, we're talking, one, two millimeters. Um, in the past, surgeons used to have to cut down, make these big incisions to put simple things just as IVs. Uh, what we do now is we use an ultrasound, put a light ultrasound probe on, pass a tiny needle into the vessel. We can see it, put a, pass a small wire, and under real-time x-ray, get catheters in or do any intervention. We can treat tumors in pediatrics. One of our most common procedures are central venous access or large bore IVs. Um, now, we don't put these large bore IVs in everyone. Uh, most patients who come to the hospital just get an IV in the arm, get an IV in the foot. Uh, for patients who need long-term treatment, such as long-term nutrition because they had a large surgery and need to go home, or patients who um, are actively infected and need long-term antibiotics, treatment of antibiotics for a month or a couple weeks, we can place um, catheters in through a large vessel in the neck and actually tunnel it so these patients can go home with their families, um, try to live a normal life, and then we'll bring them back as an outpatient and take these catheters out at the end. Some patients are born with uh, malformations or a disruption in the way their veins or arteries have grown. They can either be something that's seen as a cosmetic problem, such as a mole, or um, something that's inside, such as in the liver. And these patients uh, present in various different ways. What we can do is uh, we pass small catheters into this uh, area of malformation and put either coils, glue, or some sort of irritant, um, like an antibiotic or some sort of chemical. There's, there's a gamut of things we can do to close this malformation down, and uh, the patient is treated almost in instantaneously. In the news, there's been a lot of talk about um, what radiation does. Now, the current research in what radiation does in ter terms of causing cancer or causing other effects were all extrapolated from giant doses of radiation, what that could possibly do to someone in terms of risk of cancer. Um, nobody knows exactly how much medical radiation is safe, so the American Board of Radiology, which governs all, of, all radiologists, has come up with a principle called the ALARA principle, as low as re reasonably uh, achievable. So especially in pediatric patients for which they have a long lifespan to live, we try to reduce the amount of radiation as possible. So that's what's exciting about working in an academic center and that translates to better patient care.